Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over to see another brand new video. I really wanted to make a video about some easy meal ideas. We're all inside, we're all cooking all day long and I just feel like I cook a meal, I clean up a meal and I cook another meal and I clean up another meal. Are you guys doing that same thing? Yeah, that's this girl right here. I know we're all in the same boat, but I thought it would be great to do some easy meal ideas, show you guys what we're eating, and kind of compile it into a video. We'll see where this goes, and I hope it gives you some inspiration, some motivation to just push through, keep cooking, keep searching in your refrigerator, and find some new exciting ways to make kind of the same old stuff. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get cooking. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time that I upload a video. So I hope you guys enjoy all of these meals. Tonight we're actually cooking some hamburgers on the grill, which is super uncharacteristic of me. Um, the thing I wanted to do is I got these buns. They're this kind, sesame twist. And I actually broiled them and they're a little bit done. So I put some butter, put broil on my thing. We're gonna put them in the oven, watch them for just a couple minutes, and they're gonna get all toasty and buttery, um, and the, the butter will melt, it will look delicious. And so that is an easy way to actually like step up the hamburger game when you're like, oh, I'm so tired of hamburgers. We could actually only find a pack of four um, frozen patties but I know you can just make them with ground beef as well. Grilled some asparagus, no big deal. He grilled that out on the um, grill. I'm making mac and cheese for my little guy. And over here I have some cantaloupe. So I'll show you guys when it's all done. Tip, if you don't want your stuff to boil over, put a wooden spoon on, it won't bubble over. So mine's kind of going fast. I'm trying to cook it kind of fast because I think the hamburgers are almost done. Just put the buns in the oven, and you can kind of see they're, well, they're not really, they're getting a little toasted. Apparently, I am not good at broiling, but that's kind of what you want. You want to take them out about a minute before they look like this, so the edges kind of got a little bit more charred than I would like, but I think it was, all in all, it was okay. So let me know down in the comments, is it you or is it your husband that does this? Um, I always feel like there's one in a relationship. My, my husband came in and I told him, oh, I burned the other ones, so I'm making new ones. And he goes, and if I didn't have extra ones, I totally wouldn't have done that. But he's like, I'll eat the burned ones, no big deal. And he's super nice about it. So but I feel like there's always one in a relationship that's like, oh, no, it's no big deal. So who's that in your relationship? Okay, so this is my little guys. It's just... Ketchup, easy. I cut up two things of um, cantaloupe, got a couple asparaguses, and then just a little spoonful of mac and cheese. And that's what's for dinner tonight. Okay guys, so dinner tonight is a Caesar salad. I had some broccoli that I needed to use up, so I went ahead and just put that in my microwave and put some lemon pepper seasoning on it, so good. Um, easy, easy way. You just put it in a microwave safe bowl, put some cellophane over it, and poke some holes in it. Put it in there for like four or five minutes. Easy. Um, this is some Texas toast. This is actually my little guy's stuff. And then I always use pasta dishes, so we're having spaghetti um, with red sauce. I actually made myself some mushrooms over there, but my family doesn't like that. But this is pretty much what we're eating and we'll probably have some strawberries for dessert. So that is what's for dinner. I hope it encourages you guys, gives you some good ideas. And oh, we're actually having meatballs too. Let me show you guys that. So these are just the great value Walmart meatballs that I stock up on. They're so good, they're the home style ones. They're probably one of our favorites. I always cut them in half for my little guys, so that's why they're on here like that. But that is what's for dinner, easy peasy. 
All right, guys, here's dinner tonight. This is what I told you all that if I make a salad every night, most of the time my family will eat it. So this night I literally just chopped all the things right here and I put in some radishes because I had it. This is all just stuff I had on hand. So whatever I had, I put in carrots. Um, I, there is a cucumber in here and I only had one. There's sunflower seeds and um, tomatoes are in mine. This is my husband's, this is my son's and mine. They don't really care for tomatoes that much, so I leave it out of theirs. But it's a good way to kind of sneak in all those nutrients. Also, this is the um, spring mix that I use. And the, the reason that it doesn't look big like this is that I cut it all. And I'll show you guys what I cut it with. But I found if you cut everything really small and just kind of cut everything really, really tiny, everybody eats everything that's in the bowl. So I cut the radishes really small because you can tell they were whole. And I cut um, even the carrots I cut really small. So yeah. I actually cut the lettuce with these. They're like um, scissors, I guess. They're from Pampered Chef. And you can actually cut like whole chicken breasts with these. So if I don't have these though, like... I'll just put them on a cutting board and just do like a big rough chop. Show you my little guy's plate of what else we're having. So we're having some chicken wings, which I'll show you guys. But I took them off the bone for him, hoping that he would eat them. Sometimes he doesn't, sometimes he does. Um, thinking that I gave him a little squirt of ketchup. This is broccoli like that I'm trying to use up and I finally have used all of it. And I just made this in the microwave, put some cellophane over a microwave, save a dish, poke some holes in it, put some lemon pepper and a little bit of butter. This is, um, this is herb and butter rice. This is actually from like those Nor packets. So if they're like a dollar, so easy, shelf stable. And I actually cooked this in the microwave too. You can do it on the stovetop, but I feel like the microwave is easy. Um, you just put the packet with butter and water in a microwave safe bowl in the microwave for 12 minutes and you're done. So let me show you guys the chicken wings. These are the wings. Um, they are just drumettes that I got from Publix. And you can see basically all I did was I put um, salt and pepper, smoked paprika and garlic on them. And that, I got that recipe from the fettuccine Alfredo I make from Mandy in the making. And I put it on these just Put them in for 45 minutes at 425. It said to flip them after halfway. And I just sprayed some oil. It said you can put down parchment paper, which I probably should have done looking at all this. What we did was we put them in here and put some sauce on them. So this is our favorite sauce right now. And so it's by this restaurant that's actually out here by Charleston. And I don't know if they have this everywhere but any type of barbecue sauce would work. And so I'll show you our plates all dished up. So this is basically what it looks like. Everything together, broccoli, rice, the chicken wings, and the salad, easy peasy. And this is good because sometimes like they're out of chicken breasts, different things that they've been, it's hard to find, but these I found very easily. I hope that gives you another meal idea. So tonight's meal, I actually made a copycat recipe of a soup from Olive Garden called Zuppa Toscano. And it is a sausage and potato soup that has kale that you put in right at the end. This soup is great because it doesn't take a lot of ingredients. I actually used chicken bouillon. Um, I didn't even use like huge thing of broth or anything like that. It's so good, you guys. And... It's just easy filling, easy to make, and a great easy dinner. So if you're looking for something that doesn't take a lot of ingredients and will stretch really, really far, everybody in my house has eaten and look at how much is left. So this will stretch for days too, and I love that about it. So a really, really good option here is the copycat recipe of the Zuppa Toscano Olive Garden Soup. And with it, I actually made some bread and all I did was put my oven on to broil, put some butter on some plain old sandwich bread and no big deal, broiled it for a few minutes, 
and I do have one piece left, but it got a little brown, guys. It was not, it doesn't usually look like this, but you just watch it until it gets golden, and that was it. Easy, easy meal tonight. Okay, everyone, instead of showing you a dinner tonight, I wanted to show you quick, easy dessert that I do all the time that everybody thinks is so special. They love it, and it's so easy. So in this time where it's hard to get stuff, you don't want to leave your house, but you have all these random leftover things, I think this is an easy thing. So I'm going to make whipped cream up. Making your homemade whipped cream, so easy. You just eat heavy whipping cream and sugar, no big deal. And then I use my KitchenAid. So as long as you use something that is um, has like a whisk, or you can whisk it by hand, but it would take a really long time. So let me show you how I do it. So I put my whisk attachment on my KitchenAid, and I'm just going to pour in whatever I have left in here. I don't know. That much. So basically you just want to add a couple of tablespoons of sugar after this gets kind of soft and you are good. I usually just taste it. Everybody's preferences about this are so different that I would just add in maybe one tablespoon. You can do powdered sugar. If you do powdered sugar, you have to add more. I've found um, a lot of times I just use the regular fine sugar and it it works just fine. You just have to make sure it um, is incorporated really well. So all I did was cut up some strawberries, have my whipped cream here, and I'll show you guys how it turns out. That is it, a super easy dessert that didn't take you a lot of time, a lot of ingredients, and you can gather up all your leftovers because you could do this over any number of fruit and it would be amazing. Mm -hmm.